Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Puppet Agent with Puppet Master. So what is the use case? So look at this diagram, right? So this is our Puppet Master and this is our Puppet Agent, right? So if you look at uh, our previous videos, right? Yes, we did provision uh, brand new EC2 instance using Puppet Master, right? But in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to establish secure connection between uh, the target EC2 instance where we are going to install the agent and then the Puppet Master, right? So we are going to establish secure communication between Puppet Master as well as Puppet Agent, okay? So that is what we are going to do. So if you look at uh, my AWS console, yes, I do have my Puppet Master up and running and then I also have Puppet Agent running as well, okay? So this is our prerequisite, right? Awesome. So let's get started. Guys, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Great. If you look at the prerequisites, yes, we already have, uh, you know, Puppet Master as well as the agent uh, up and running. So I'm going to move on to step number two, right? I'm going to move on to step number two, okay? So what we have to do is we need to log in into Puppet Agent and then we need to follow these steps, okay? So let's go to here. So what is the Puppet Agent? So this is the Puppet Agent. So click on that, click on connect, uh, copy the SSH URL, and then I'm going to open up a new um, item window, okay? This is for Puppet Agent. And what you see on my left is the Puppet Master, okay? So this is where my Puppet Master, I have already logged into that. This is my Puppet Agent, okay? So let me log in into Puppet Agent. Let me copy the URL again. Make sure we are in the downloads directory. That is where my keys are located and then connect. Perfect. So now I am connected to Puppet Agent. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to start from here, right? So the first step is we need to edit the host file, okay, on the Puppet Agent and then we need to tell the agent where is the Puppet Master, right? Or, or what is the Puppet Master IP address, okay? So how to get the Puppet Master IP address? So this is the IP address, right? So let's copy that. And then you need to say Puppet, right? And then make sure you are mentioning the correct IP address by removing hyphen with dot, right? So you get 172.31.41.186, perfect. And then save this file. Uh, ship colon wq and then come out of it okay very good and then the next step is what we are going to do is yes we need to install the puppet agent software right on the target ec2 instance right so how to do that all you have to do is just execute this command so this is going to download the puppet agent software if you actually see here yes i am downloading puppet 6 version even though our puppet master is uh, you know version 7 it doesn't matter okay you can download puppet uh, 7 agent or you can download puppet 6 agent all you have to do is you just have to change 6 into 7 that's all okay right you're just downloading that and then you're also extracting that okay so that's all okay so it doesn't matter but i'm going to continue with puppet 6 version here okay it doesn't matter all right okay great uh, so we have installed that and then we need to perform update Oops, I, I copy twice. Once you do the update, and then we can go ahead and then install Puppet Agent software. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, perfect. And then you might want to do this. This is going to make sure that Puppet Agent is always available whenever you restart and then this is for restarting the puppet agent why because you know we just install and then we also made some configuration changes right so in order for those changes to take effect you have to restart okay and then let's uh, perform this particular command this is going to show that puppet agent is up and running right so everything is good so far okay so that is it right that is pretty much on the Puppet agent. Now, what we need to do is we need to sign in back to Puppet Master. So I'm going to move the instruction to my right. And you see here, I am already connected to Puppet Master here. 
So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and then execute this command. Okay, so what this command is going to do, this command is going to list all the unsigned certificate requests. Wow, see here, look at here, right? It is saying that request of certificates and then it also says that this is nothing but uh, the target EC2 instance IP address. You see here? 172.31.18.220, right? See here? We are able to see that. So this is nothing but the agent or the target EC2 IP address, right? So basically, Puppet Master is able to recognize the unsigned certificate request from the Puppet agent, right? So all we have to do is go ahead and then sign them, right? Or approve them, okay? So how to do that? For that, this is the command, right? So let me do that. So go ahead and then say puppet server CA sign and then minus minus cert name space. You just have to mention the target agent uh, private uh, DNS name, right? So this is actually nothing but the private DNS name. So go ahead and then enter. Wow, see here now. Now we are able to see this message, right? It says that successfully signed certificate request for so and so right and then if you go and type ca list again this is not going to show why because you have already approved right so this is not going to show you anything why because you have successfully signed okay perfect so now we have you know um, integrated or, or now we have successfully uh, approved the certificate request from the agent right so now what we can do we should be able to uh, do any configuration management changes right into the target EC2 instance. So how to do that? What I have done here is you know, I have uh, written a small uh, manifest here. What this is going to do is this is going to make some um, You know, uh, this is going to generate some file in the target EC2 instance, which is nothing but the agent, right? And then um, once you go to the agent and then you know when you execute this command uh, the puppet agent right the puppet agent is going to pull the changes from the master and then it is going to apply the changes right what we are actually writing here right why because if you look at this diagram i also have explained in my previous video as well puppet is what purely based on client and server model right Puppet is purely based on client and server model. This is completely opposite to agentless architecture by Ansible, right? And then in Puppet, um, the way way it is going to uh, provide manifest, right? The agent is going to pull the manifest or or the configuration changes from the Puppet master, and then it is going to apply by itself, right? So agents, it is agent responsibility to pull the configuration changes from the master okay so we need to create manifest in the puppet master and then you need to log in into agent and then apply the configuration changes right okay so let's get started on that right so i'm going to do this step number four here uh, we need to do it on a puppet master see i have clearly mentioned it here okay so let's go ahead and then edit this main manifest file. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and then type this command, right? So what I'm doing here, yes, I want to create this file, okay? I want to create this text file on the target EC2 instance or the agent, and then I would like to send this message, right? Right, I want to send this message to the agent. Okay, so it, this should say that hello from puppet master to the agent, and then this also should print the agent IP address as well. Okay, perfect. So let me save this. Control O, enter. Sorry, uh, you can also do. Perfect. Okay, great. So I save this file. And then I need to go to the agent. Why? Because I need to apply the changes, right? Since puppet is based on pull model, right? You need to go to the agent and then execute this command. Okay, go ahead and then execute this command. So what this is going to do is this agent is going to communicate with the master 
and then it is going to go ahead and then apply the changes right okay so as you can see here it says that the changes has been applied right so how do I uh, make sure that my changes are working all you have to do is go ahead and then make sure look at this file right so this it should have created this file okay wow see here now we are able to see the changes isn't it whatever the changes we have made it here the agent was able to pull the change from the master isn't it so if you want to uh, do one more time let's go let's go edit let me use nano editor so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and then make change one more time uh, i want to say instead of hello i want to say howdy right from puppet master to agent right so control o enter control x so i made uh, some configuration changes in the puppet master if i want to apply that i need to go to the agent and then execute this right so this is the command which is going to pull the configuration changes from puppet master okay wow see here it confirms that you know uh, it was able to pull it so how do i uh, make sure go ahead and then execute this command wow see here we are able to see this change right awesome guys isn't it right so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you can integrate puppet master and puppet agent using ssl certificate and then this is how you're going to apply a uh, configuration changes into uh, puppet agent and then one more thing if you see here yes we are manually uh, you know applying the configuration changes right uh, frankly speaking actually right uh, there is a default interval time which is nothing but 30 minutes right meaning if you don't do anything you just uh, go and uh, make configuration changes right in your puppet master if you don't do anything on the agent what agent is going to do agent is going to check with puppet master once in every 30 minutes and then it is going to apply or it is going to pull the configuration changes from the master into the agent right so that is also another way of you know uh, pulling the configuration changes from the master into agent right awesome guys that's all i have awesome guys that's all i have thank you for watching in next video we will talk about how to install lamp stack onto the target ec2 instance or the agent using puppet master thank you for watching